Today I'm going to show you my level one tendu that I use in all of my level one and sometimes level two classes. It's a fairly long combination, but it incorporates a lot of different concepts like foot articulation, movement of the head, timing. Um, it helps transition forward into steps such as tonglié, chassé. Um, it's even a foundational step for the balance. So I'm going to show you the entirety of the combination and break down the concepts, and then I will do the combination pull out at the end. So at the very beginning, we have preparation and beat you. Tondu to the side, hold, plie in the middle. I always tell them to find their house. So we look in the mirror and we recognize their house. I have another video on that. Tondu and close. Tondu, find your house. Tondu and close. We do four of these. Then we do a plie in first position, slide to your house and stretch. Sip the milkshake. Now when we sip the milkshake, we want to make sure that we put the heel on the ground and then we squeeze the legs together and the younger ones love helping you make the sound effects. Demi plie. Slide to your house, stretch, and sip the milkshake. Helps them pull everything up in nice and snug and tight. We do four of those. Next set is soutenus. We do tendu to the side, cross it over onto the ball of the foot and they love putting their foot way out here for some reason. Tell them to get it as close to their foot as possible. If it's too far away, they're going to swirl their tornado. So it's nice and snug, and then we sue to new and plie in first position. I always at this level have them end in first position, and I always have them end in a plie. I always like to reiterate diamond every single time. This helps them remember the shape and look at themselves in the mirror and recognize their diamond as opposed to just thinking plie. You think plie, they think bend the knees. You say diamond, they recognize their diamond. For younger students near the beginning of the year, I usually cut the combination there. And then as they get a little bit more comfortable, maybe into like the second quarter, then I will begin extending the combination and adding the next set of components. The next set is gonna be step toe ball heel, brush the foot and flick, okay? So I always tell them squish the bug, kick the sand. Squish the bug with the heel, kick the sand behind you. So this gives them a lot of feeling of that foot articulation. This is going to help them with dege and even just articulating the foot in general down the road. It's also the foundation of their balance. So you do four of these on each side for a total of eight. Your last one you're going to close. We put the hands on the shoulders. Then we do ball point, ball heel. Just a simple foot articulation point, ball heel. Ball to the ankle, ball, heel. Ball to the ankle, ball, heel. Ball to the knee, ball, heel. They really like this one, to the knee, ball, heel. One more time, to the knee, ball to your diamond. Ball, knee, ball, and finish. So it is very fast if you use the tempo that I'm using. Um, but at the beginning of the year, I do everything half tempo. So it becomes very slow. One hand, two, three, and four, which is really good for a five, six year old beginner level ego introduction. If you have a student who's like six, seven, really catching up, start with the slow tempo and then double the timing. Another thing I like to do kind of in that like November, December transition to the January period when they're starting to get really comfortable is I do two of them nice and slow. So we have that slower tempo just kind of reminding them of the step. And then we do the same step, but we double the tempo, and that helps them learn to do it quickly without just completely throwing them off. So I like that kind of slow transition. I'm going to do this at the full tempo that I would do this at the end of the year. But near the beginning of the year, I would go half tempo for everything. Finding your house.